Hello everyone and welcome to SE Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I'm your host, the Software Engineering Geek, and on this show we're going to show you how to push your changes out to a remote Git repository. So sit back and help the knowledge flow in because SE Geek starts now. Okay, in this uh, video we're going to be talking a little bit more about push, uh, just a little bit more because I kind of showed it in the last video and actually substitute a little bit more information about remotes. I don't deal with them too much because I haven't done a lot, you know, since the people I work with uh, don't do pushes and pull, uh, don't do pulls from each other. I don't really have a lot of remotes. I just have origin, which is just the centralized repository. But I'll show you a little bit with those and it can be useful. Um, so first off, I just wanted to show, uh, get on here, command. So when I do a get push, usually you push to a particular, you know, um, branch. Now you can, like I said before, just to give you a little bit more um, knowledge, is you can do uh, what's called a ref spec, which, you know, if you look through the documentation, you'll see ref spec, which means it'll be source colon destination. So if I wanted to, I could, you know, push from my master branch to a test master branch. You know, it's something you can do. Uh, usually, I just leave, you know, the source off and just say I want it to go to the actual destination, which is master, because it's just kind of shorthand and it's easier. You can leave the source off and it just implies that the source is what branch you're on. Kind of like when you merge it just assumes that the branch you're merging to is the branch you're on and you just specify the destination in that case so you know that's just something you know you can get out of this so with uh, remotes what we could do is say uh, get remote oops and it shows us origin which is just you know you get this one by default so origin is your original remote uh, which is you know you uh, clone from originally so that's why you see origin in a lot of places so you can do but you can do a get I think it's remote and then add and then we want to do dot dot um, Let's see, we want to add test two, and we want to call it um, T two. Ah, and it isn't a valid remote name. Oh, actually, I think it's in the reverse order. So it's that and dot dot slash test two. Okay, so now if we do get remote, we have T2. So let's actually go up to test 2. Oops. And we'll clear this out and we'll touch test 4.txt. Well, Edit test four dot txt. Put in some stuff, and then we'll do a get GUI, and we'll just commit this test four. Commit it. So now that's on test two. So now if we go up and then down to test three what we could do is we could do a get fetch and let's see I think fetch only fetches from origin 
So I wonder if you could do a get fetch t2 and it fetched from t2 now because I think get fetch by default just fetches from origin. So now we fetch from t2 and we see that you know t2's master has been updated. So we could do a get merge t2 slash master. And oh, that's a conflict with text three for, oh yeah, because we had this in conflict. So we could do um, get merge tool and just bring this up and let's just say that we decided we wanted to do this. We'll save that, close it, get K, oh no, not get K, want to get GUI and just commit that and we see text four and the change that we had to make so commit that and now if we do a get k we'll see that we merged in that tracking branch and that um, we have you know test four came in so closing that and just clear this out and just do that and we can see that we now have test4.txt. So that's a good way. Uh, remotes actually re it would be really useful um, when if you want to actually, uh, you know, connect to other people and you know push and well actually you can't push to them but you can pull from them and have them pull from you. You can only actually push to a bare repository, which we showed you, which is the centralized repository. So that's pretty much all I want to talk about with push. So I'll see you next time.